Well, seeing as how we had recently revisited, you know, Uzumaki Chronicles 2, I figured we might as well come back to the original, which is nowhere near as good, if I'm being honest. Uh, Uzumaki Chronicles 2 is a lot more uh, enjoyable of a game overall, just because how it's set up. This game, not so much. Um, you can switch characters from Naruto, but only for very short bursts of time, because they run out of chakra quickly. And that's the determining factor for how long you can have them on the field. Which is just really irritating to me, because it makes the game very unenjoyable. It's like, what happens if I want to be, you know, Neji for a little bit, or Shikimaru, or be Sakura, which I honestly don't even think you can play as a female character in this game, because screw that, right? Like, we're gonna have all these female shinobi, but you can't play as any of them, because we said no. And plus, the art in this game is a, a bit off. I mean, just look at that face. Ugh, so ugly! I also think I gotta switch systems at some point in this game, because I think some of the dis uh, issues don't work as well on one system or the other. It's a bit weird. Well, at first glance, Leaf Village appears to be taking the peace of the military strength that dominates the other nations. Or beneath the surface, this is a crisis is drawing near. Troubling incidents recur near the village, and Richamaru is clearly seeking to stabilize it through various wicked plots. In response, the village leaders decide they must temporarily rely on extreme measure. Or sell them military strength that's running short, Genin, who would normally be assigned C rank missions or lower, are now given more difficult missions according to their ability. Well, why wouldn't you be doing that by default anyway? Not to mention. How's what do you do with the Eternal Genin? You know, the guy's been around since the time of like the first Hokage, and is probably one of the strongest people in the village. Considering everyone seems to rely on him, he seems to know a lot of village secrets. So, ugh, I don't know how that would work for him. <laughs> Thus, even the youngest Genin are burdened with a portion of the village's fate. Some struggle with the weight of the responsibility, while others are thrilled, feeling this is a chance to prove their abilities. And advance to the next level for more pay. Oh, please. Naruto barely thinks about anything. Besides becoming Okage. He doesn't put a lot of thought into what, you know, his next meal's gonna be. Unless it's ramen. That he thinks about it all day. Well, now. Voluntarily? Impressive. At least the in game art's better than what we saw on the title screen, right? Pretty sure it's running out a lot more than you. What? Hey! I'm trying to get all motivated here! Oh, sorry about that. My bad. Look, how about I make up for it by supervising your training? Really? Yes. First, let me see if you've forgotten any of the fighting basics. Move according to my instructions. Got it? Ugh. Don't practice. Or do practice. Eh, this game's not complicated, so this should be short, hopefully. Uh, I mean, it's not a very long one. Okay, run, dash, tab X twice while running, jump, press X. Hold X down for higher jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. Gotta do a large jump, a small jump, and a dash, you know, because it's really important. With the uh, R1, oh, sorry, L1 button, jeez. Keep facing locked on enemy, even while moving. That way you can more easily attack and evade that enemy. Oh, well, that was simple. But I love how that guy's just a random Genin that just pops up all over the place in this game. Of course, we do want to collect Virtue Orbs from the defeated ones later. Not, not enough time, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic combo. Just constantly press that. Yep. Lock on will help. Why did you have to wait for him to get back up? I don't get it. I thought this would be shorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't really do much with that. I mean, you really want to just go for a basic combo, then you follow up with the back fist to throw him a bit. 
and then kick upward, gotcha. Darn it. Clear that off, will you? Darn it. Did it wrong again. Got it. Okay. Not my favorite move. Hmm. Someone left a comment. Well, I'll read in a little bit. Okay. Shadow and Kyle tap R1 during basic 5 hit combo. You can in the air for a chance at further attacks. You can cause a lot of damage this way. Okay. Yep. I honestly can't imagine you'd want to use that one a lot either, cause, unless you got infinite chakra. Yes. More chakra will The more clones you'll create, the longer they'll last. Now you lock down with L1, your clones will focus their attacks on the enemy. Okay. Just two, huh? Don't, don't want to go too far into it. What, are we going to use Sexy Jutsu next? Okay. The more chakra you mess, the stronger your power will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just hold R2, right? Boom! So yeah, they just call that the Power Strike, not the Risengan. Yeah, I know, it's kind of dumb, but they didn't want to spoil what it was called, because this game came out before certain events in the anime happened in the U.S., which is why they had to completely change the plot line. Um, because originally you're going to have to deal with Akatsuki a bit with this one, so they cut that all out to avoid issues. And yeah, this doesn't work on certain enemies. Because, you know, they're unbelievably gay, I guess. Though I have to admit, I prefer the harem jutsu. Oof. Though I don't know if I can perform it yet. Oh, the camp screen, where you can equip and attack items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Items. Equip attack items, sorry. Oh, kunai knife. Yeah. I get an infinite number of those. I really don't know why we have to have an infinite supply of the most worthless weapon. Though, admittedly, I guess it makes sense. It's sort of like how you have infinite amount of ammo in your basic pistols in a lot of games, right? Yep. Gotta beat enemies up to get access to that stuff. Boom! Gotcha. Ugh. Didn't get all of them, but it's fine. I just had to defeat the enemy and grab what I could. I don't have enough to really do much, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Set the drain effect ship attack with Taijutsu and pick up a chakra orb. Attack enemy with combos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skill plates, set skill chips. Train effect. Okay. Yeah, this basic layout sucks. But we only have, you know, one option there. I mean, later on we can spend it, but I don't think I can really do that right now. Yeah, I only got five. So we can't buy Jack Squad because I need at least 50. For even some of the basic stuff. And even this stuff, I need, you know... Well, I got five, but they're not going to let me spend it yet. Yeah, just had to see what it does, right? Because it makes him drop chakra or so he can more readily spam, you know, shadow clones and stuff. Another well, round, press X the instant you're attacked. Launch your counterattack. You'll take damage, but it's a good way to turn the tables, especially if you're going to be strong. However, this will use some stamina. Ugh, I was in the air, so I couldn't do it. You want to make that faster, my friend? And did they really have to pause me in the middle of my combo move? 
Like, yeah, I'm stuck in the air. That makes it super special awesome. Okay. With an ally, huh? Control an ally unit until the stamina runs out. Use Ninjutsu with R1, R2, and press L2 again to put your ally back on standby where you can recover stamina. Yes, carefully. Boom. I honestly don't like this as much as I should, but his Chidori is not really that great. Uh, it just doesn't do enough damage for as much chakra as it costs. Sealed the unsealed. Cage is unsealed state and your health is low enough. You can summon the power of the nine-tailed fox. And the conditions are field, huh? Okay. Or we go crazy and start you know, spamming clones and do all kinds of crazy combos. Admittedly, you know, you don't see this state as often as you'd like. Mostly because, you know, you can't activate without having your health low, and usually you're going to want to keep your health high, right? Okay. 71 hits. Nice. Though, admittedly, we didn't seem to get a lot of chakra orbs out of that. Come on. Thank you. I just wanted to see the orb. So. Okay now. Time for some missions, right? Hey Sensei, how are my moves? Perfect, right? Hmm, you pass for now. Barely. Uh, your grading's too tough, Kakashi Sensei. It's for the best in your case. Don't it really me. is. In a real fight, that's when I shine. No matter how big the mission, it's no biggie. Well, your cockiness is Jonian level, I'll give you that. Anyway, just don't do anything to shame the leaf name. Right. Well now. What's my first mission gonna be? Ugh. Well now. Guess we'll find out next time. Yep, we're going to dedicate a whole episode to just learning the basics.